Rewrite the statements in 1 through 4 in if-then form. This loop will repeat exactly n times if it does not contain a stop or a go to. Now you don't necessarily need to know what the content of the statement is. You don't need to know what a stop or a go to is to do this. What we're really focused on is this if. Based on the structure of this English sentence, we can see that everything after the if is the if part of the if then statement. Every time you see an if, there is a then. Otherwise, the word if is unnecessary in that context. So if it does not contain a stop or go to is the if of my if then form, and then everything else would be the then of the if then form. This is true whether you put the if in the middle of the sentence or in the beginning. So to put the statement in if then form, it would be if it does not contain a stop or a go to, then this loop will repeat exactly n times. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.